Covering Colorado first with your forecast, here's meteorologist Chris Spears. Chris, a little chilly when you woke up this morning, huh? You know what? Yes. I had Daisy May out about 7 o'clock and I stepped out and said, wow, what a little chill uh, we have. More of that to come down the road. Here's our current radar. It's dry statewide. Only issue we have, it's really western Kansas. This yellow box is a tornado watch, but you see how it just kind of clips our eastern counties and there's a few showers trying to form. So we could still get a a couple of isolated storms on those far eastern counties that uh, get a little bit loud before the evening is over. 87, the highs today downtown and the airport started in the mid 50s, right about where we should be for this time of the year. 86 and 57 are your normals. The records 98 and 40. That's an oldie back in 1910. Currently in the 80s, up and down the eastern uh, half of Colorado with 91 in Pueblo, 60s and 70s in the high country, 80s and 90s over on the western slope. Grand Junction still 90. 94 degrees. The Colorado Rifle Club in eastern Adams County, 90 at last check, but a comfortable 74 at Bob's house up there in Estes Park. Uh, I want to show you the wind speeds. It's breezy in some areas with a couple of little pockets of heavier or higher wind gusts out there. These are sustained wind speeds you're looking at, and these are gusts. And so we do have some places in the high country and in southern Wyoming gusting greater than 30 miles per hour. Here's the future cast. I want you to watch this uh, side of the state. Could get a couple little quick storms that pass down our eastern counties tonight. That's about it. Tomorrow, it's in motion here. Just very little to show you. We expect a very dry day statewide. The wind is going to pick up tomorrow and so will the fire danger. So all of these red uh, counties colored in here, that's a red flag warning for your Sunday. In the metro area, it's Northern Weld County, good chunk of Larimer County, the higher terrain of Boulder County and Park County. So we'll be watching tomorrow and crossing our fingers that no fires start. Then looking ahead, look at this. This dip in the jet stream, highly unusual to see something this strong in late August near the core of this low. Highs by Monday, Tuesday may not get out of the 50s. We're a little far south. We'll be on the edge of it. A cool front is going to come through northeastern Colorado either very late tomorrow night or early on Monday, and you'll see how much it's going to cool us down. Uh, lows tonight. 40s in the high country, 50s to around 60 for everybody else. Tomorrow, warmer than today, 70s and 80s up high, well into the 90s down low, about 97 in Denver, southeastern Colorado. You may hit the century mark. Here's the five-day forecast, Kathy. Look at the cool down from mm -hmm. Sunday wow. to Monday. That's amazing. Yeah, that's going to be a pretty strong front. It does not have a lot of moisture with it, so we think it will come through pretty dry, but nonetheless, a hot day tomorrow near record highs, and then a drastic change for Monday and Tuesday down into the 70s. We'll get back to the 80s by Wednesday and Thursday. All right, Chris, thanks. Sure. Well, the Broncos take on the Rams.